On June 5, the death of five soldiers in Gaza shook Azerbaijan. The Azerbaijani army prevented the next Armenian attack and forced a retreat with casualties. IDF's correspondent Idrak Yabbasov went to investigate the case in the front line and the current situation of the people living here. The distance between the Armenian forces based on the Galyan Bashluk and Para mountain peaks and the houses of Gushtsu Iron Village where Azerbaijani soldiers were killed is between 300 and 400 meters. But the residents of this village are not afraid of Armenians. They are busy with agriculture and cattle breeding. But there are many problems for the 350 families living here. The road between Mazam and Gushtsu villages is in very poor condition. But even more pressing is the need for repair work on their houses, which were damaged by fires during the war and ceasefire. The roof of village on Ruhajev's house was damaged by Armenian bullets. The villagers are grieving over the 18 and 19 year olds, mainly from poor families who have died during the frequent ceasefire violations. In the most recent attack, according to the villagers, secret intelligence forces entered an Azerbaijani military post and threw grenades into a trench. Five Azerbaijani soldiers were killed and two were wounded. A day before this attack, an attack by Armenian raid was prevented and three soldiers were killed and six were wounded. But despite these repeated ceasefire violations and the constant threat, life goes on in this small village. Gaza citizens would like to invite the top-ranking officials of the Azerbaijani government to visit this charming place which is the target of Armenian attacks. The citizens do not want patriotism be limited to comfortable office rooms and empty PR statements.